um, Page of Wands, uh, The Tower, Queen of Discs, King of Cups, Five of Discs, Knight of Discs, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, and Eight of Swords reversed, Six of Wands, King of Swords, and then the Wheel of Fortune. So in the center we have the Ace of Pentacles popping up, and, and since it's in reverse, it's trying to come in, but it's not quite there yet. And this has to do with maybe your material realm, uh, financial, uh, you know, uh, your home, but things that you can touch and gravitate towards in the 3D realm. Now, with it in reverse, it's, th it's not coming in like it wants to, you know, it's not supporting you like it could quite yet. And so this could be a blockage that's happening within your spirit or within uh, a mindset. Uh, and, and so it's a switch needs to be happened to have it come in quicker. Now, let's look a little bit more and we'll be talking more about this because even when it's in the reverse, I really feel like it's still a positive card. It's just taking a little bit longer and it's not coming in the time frame that you had hoped for. So if it's a new job or if you're trying to get a new home or if you're trying to get a raise, it's not coming in as fast as you would like it to, but it still means that it has the possibility to come in if you stay um, diligent. Okay, so in relationship we have the Five of Wands, and then the Tower and the Queen of Discs. Okay, now I'm going to, um, before I get into it, I want to say, just looking at this, I am here, Cancer, to guide you to be the best you you can be, and the only person who can do that is you. You can listen to every tarot reader, you can listen to every astrologer, and it is still your responsibility to rise up and become the best you. When I read these cards, I am here to give you that knowledge here that of the cards and help you guide, help you guide to, in a way, what you already know. And sometimes we need to be reminded of our own beauty, of our own struggle, of our worth, and in certain aspects. And if we don't receive that message, or if we don't let it into our heart, it comes back. It keeps coming back. So sometimes my readings may seem redundant, but it's because we haven't learned certain lessons that we need to learn. And so until we do that, it can't shift. So... The reason why I say this is we have the tower here, okay? And the tower is a shift in relationship. But how I see this, like the queen of uh, pentacles in reverse, it's an earth sign, so Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. And then we also have the page of wands, but they're in the upright, so fire energy. So fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two people, kind of in a way at odds, but the, the fire sign is, is kind of setting you up to, for this tower. Not in a negative way. They're, they're there to, in a way, support you, but they're saying, hey, if you don't change something, things are going to go. Things are going to go awry, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign, but it has a fire type of energy. And so when we have the tower, you, it could be a breakup in, in relationship. It could also, you know, in a way it could be a passing and see this queen of discs in reverse. I, it's like they're falling. They're falling away from you. But there, it's a struggle. This relationship, there's a struggle going on. And I, I feel like, and I know with cancers, you pull away and you put the shell up and you say, everything's fine. I can deal with this. And that's true. You can, cancer. You are strong and you can deal with it. And you take on a lot of energy of other people. However, this is a time when you're going to have to really release. That's why August you needed to rest. is because in September you're going to get some, some knowledge about relationships, about people close to you. And it's going to feel like everything you had is crumbling down. Now, I feel this for you. I'm a Cancer, as all of you guys know, uh, or many of you know. And personally, I'm going through the struggle of um, my mother has 
cancer. And so when I see this card, I, I, I see her chemo ending and uh, the next phase, how are we going to deal with that? And so I feel you. I feel that tower crumbling. You know, I'm right there with you. But the thing is, is we have to keep, we have to persevere. We have to. You know, we don't have, in a way, we don't have a choice. But remember the collective energy of new discoveries, of challenging that fear and pushing forward in that so that we can become a better person. In work, we have uh, the Five of Pentacles. Then we have the King of Cups reversed. And then the Knight of Pentacles. So work... You know, I do feel like this work and tower energy, it kind of goes hand in hand because of the situation with relationship, with somebody exiting or with a major shift in how you guys are dealing with um, somebody close to you. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to work as much. You're not going to be able to be as close as you want to be in career. And so that's why the five of discs is showing up. It's like you're just not able to give 100%. And we're human. That's okay. This is not, this is not the end-all, be-all. We all go through valleys and we all, you know, rise above the mountain. It's just, it's part of our, our journey. And so that's okay. Like, I just want to specify with you, Cancer. It's okay. It's okay. So you cannot, you are still giving 100%, but your 100% is not what another person's 100% is in September. And so the Knight of Discs, I, like for some of you, I feel like um, this is something that has been going on for a long time, you know, that you've been um, just feeling not up to snuff in a way, but you're pushing and you're working hard and that is wonderful. But this Knight of Discs coming in is... Uh, feels like it's a messenger from the King of Cups who's in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse is, you know, just kind of negative and manipulative and is looking to feed their own soul by bringing others down. And this Knight of Discs, in a way, is, is um, I feel like the King of Discs is a boss and then the Knight of Discs is a manager and, and talking to you about the situation. I'm sorry, it was King of Cups and then Knight of Pentacles. So this Knight of Pentacles coming in is uh, giving you a message. Like almost in a way, I feel like they're letting you go in a job or saying, you, you know, things are going to shift. You're going to, hours are going to change. And so you feel left out. You feel left out in the cold, like you're not going to, you know, be a part of the group anymore. But these shifts have to happen they have to happen because we have some really lovely cards that are coming up all right so this job that you have or had um that is going to change had to change cancer it really did in abundance we have the nine of cups and the three of cups and the Eight of Swords reversed, okay? So this is actually really interesting because this is a wish card. Nine of Cups is the wish, so your abundance is right there. So this happens so that you can, I love this. I love this for you, okay? Because the Nine of Cups is saying, yeah, you, you might have lost your job. Things might have changed. Your relationship with somebody is shifting too, but... Look at, look at the joy and look at the silver lining. It's so right there. What do you want? What do you wish for? You know, your future. How do you see it? New discoveries. Remember, collective energy. And because of this, I feel like this is going to be closer to the end of the month, is that you're going to get a celebration. You're going to get a reminder of what it is to live and be joyful. And the Eight of Swords in reverse is like releasing those... Th the self-created jail, the self-created conflict, you're letting it go. And it's going to take the month. It's going to take the month to really process this and get to that point. But, oh, man, cancer, once you get to that point, 
it's just going to, you're going to be able to breathe again. And so celebrate, celebrate the end of the month. This is celebration. And I feel, oh, this makes me happy that a King of Swords is coming in for you. And this is a mind, body, soul connection. So I feel like they're, they're there to bolster you up and keep you sewn together. They will speak to you in ways that you have never been spoken to before in a very healing manner. And it might not be flowery, it might not be, you know, like a Leo or, or a Sagittarius at that, um, you know, or a Gemini. Well, it could actually be a Gemini, actually. King of Swords, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius energy. But they will hold space for you. They will hold space for you for everything you have gone through. And love up on you. And that will change the tides. That will change the tides by the end of the month. The wheel of fortune. Fortune is yours. So, you know, the the situations that are challenging, I mean, it could be really small challenges for you too. Like, oh no, you know, my, um, my boyfriend is moving to the town next to me and that's going to shift a lot of things and it's going to, you know, give you kind of a, a blow and... Or you could just you'd be like, oh no, this month only I'm only going to get 30 hours instead of 40 hours, but it's going to rebound in October. So this situation could be really small, but it could also be really big, all right? It's shift for sure. But it's, it's so wonderful by the end of September how you um, balance out. So let's call on Mother Moon. We're going to call on the Mother Wisdom deck for some added guidance. Oh, this one. Tree of Life. Connection. Perfect. Oh, Cancer, I'm so happy for you and how it's ending. Connection. Connection. Okay, I'm going to pull it. Pull out the book. Okay, now this book is kind of written in the way um, towards mothers, but what I do love about that is that we are all mothers of something, mothers or fathers of something. So I'm going to read it as a mother, but remember, if, if you are not a mom or if you are a father or you are a gentleman, uh, it's okay. You still have that feminine energy, that nurturing energy is within all of us. Motherhood and loneliness seem like unlikely bedfellows. After all, how can someone feel alone when she rarely has a moment to herself? Nevertheless, we find ourselves at home with the children, wondering if the rest of the world has forgotten us. Have we somehow missed an invitation to the secret society of allied mothers? Have old friends written us off because we are homeward bound as they head out for happy hour? Have even our partners in family life drifted away, wearing, weary of vying with small people for our attention and intimacy? The tree of life symbolizes connection. When you draw this card, it is time to call forth the village and end your exile. Yes, celebrate, like I was saying, by the end of the month, it's time to celebrate. It's time to um, congratulate yourself for getting through it and doing that with your with your collective, doing that with your community. We are all connected. Never forget that. 